I've been working as a security engineer for the last nine months, and it's been an interesting journey up to this point. I really enjoy what I do, and I love the challenges and learning opportunities that come with the role, which is why in this video, I'm going to be giving you the reasons why I actually became a security engineer. Hey there, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and I'm a security engineer at Datadog. And on this channel, I talk about cybersecurity, cloud security, and other life stuff. If you're interested in that sort of content, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. first reason why I became a security engineer was out of sheer curiosity. So as a child, I've really loved tinkering around with things. I would fix things around the house. Sometimes I would break things around the house. I would keep their spare parts or their wires or something as a souvenir from any of the things I would break or fix so that I could use them for a later project that I'll be working on. I actually had a secret box where I had a bunch of junk spare parts and electronics that I was going to use for whatever project I was planning in my head, which eventually didn't come to fruition. But some of those spare parts actually came to use when I was fixing things around the house. All this to say that my curiosity eventually led me to cybersecurity and eventually a career as a security engineer, which I'm currently working as right now. And I think this is very similar for people in the technology field and the cybersecurity field. There's a common sense of curiosity that we all have because we typically probably grew up being curious about different things, or maybe later on in life, we started being more curious about stuff in technology. So I do believe that a lot of security engineers out there or people in technology in general typically have their major interest or one of the major reasons of them becoming technologists or security engineers in this case, to be specifically out of curiosity. The second reason why I became a security engineer is because I want to make a difference in the world. In the past history, in the 1800s or 1700s, 1600s, whatever, medieval times and olden days, people made impacts or were mostly known for their major endeavors. So we had people who were soldiers, like they were known for conquering different territories or being great swordsmen or being great with the shield or being great with the horse. We had people who were great craftsmen, like they were the best at making swords, best at making shields, best at making spears, weaponry, like chariots, whatever you might want to describe these medieval weapons as. And we had people who were great musicians even to this day, and they were mostly known for them being great at something. And this is how they made an impact in the world or how they actually lived out their purpose back in those times. So I have found that in the world we currently live in, the best way that I can live out my purpose is by truly making a difference in the world of technology, specifically cybersecurity, and specifically currently as a security engineer. I don't know if I will be the greatest at what I do, but I know that I'm relentless and I'm working to be the best possible version of a security engineer that I can possibly be. So like I said, I truly want to make a difference in the world and I found that my role as a security engineer protecting organizations all over the world is an outlet for this and I believe that I can actually truly live out my purpose through this. The third and final reason why I became a security engineer is because I want to make an impact in the world and I also want to be a proud representative of my community. As an immigrant Nigerian living in the United States, I personally have the responsibility of being a representative of my people, and I want to be able to do that in the best way possible. I want people who look like me and have similar backgrounds to mine to be able to see me in places and positions that they want to be in, and therefore be able to see themselves in those places and positions eventually. That's my little way of impact and representation. I might not have the money and the time to train people and give them the skills they need to get to certain positions or certain places in technology or cybersecurity. But if I can show them my path and leave a follow up trail for them to eventually get to where they need to be or where they want to be, in this case, to become security engineers or other things in the technology and cybersecurity space, 
I believe I would have truly left, a, left an impact and I would have been a true representative of my community. So that's it. So I became a security engineer. If you have any comments about any of these three reasons, be sure to leave them down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.